Hi friends, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share this video. So this video I am going to explain what is uh, connection pooling example. In last video also I have explained what is connection pooling and also uh, I write one, one example here you can see friends. I will get the connection through the driver manager dot get connection. In real time we didn't use this uh, logic driver manager dot get connections. So we are using connection pooling. So once you can check this example, I have one right. Once I click this, uh, once I click, I will get the all the student details. So I have two records. So better to use uh, break tag. So I will write break tag. In real time, we didn't use uh, driver manager dot get connections. Uh, why means in last video also I have explained. So now. We, write, we get the connection through the data source object reference. So here I will write break tag not here get double uh, get to double. So how we will get the data source object and how we will use means I will explain. Here I will write break tag. First in what do you server I am using Tomcat server Apache Tomcat. So in you can see friends server one configuration file is there xml file is there that is context.xml so you can see friends context.xml in this xml we can paste our uh, con uh, you can paste connection poolings we can write connection pooling uh, configurations so i will copy paste context.xml and i will paste in uh, meta inf you can uh, meta inf context.xml I will paste in context.xml under the context tag you write resource tag so under the resource tag you have already code is there in the resource tag I have copy and paste in context.xml within the context tag not outside the context tag within the context tag you can see friends resource tag is there resource tag so name is jdbc dot test slash db auth container and you can see friends type is java java x dot sql dot data source so we can get the connection pool connection through data source object so we must write java x dot sql data source username i will write system and password i will write tiger i am using oracle driver so i am using driver class name is oracle driver and url JDBC or I can think at 1521XE. So another one you can write many of configuration maximum ideal, maximum active, minimum active. All this write in resource tag. I will write maximum to minimum to. Last video I have explained what this uh, uh, maximum videos so all this is. You can check this my last video. So how will get this connection in our uh, servlets or any hibernate or spring anywhere? So first we must create a context object a context object. Why means if we are using uh, Java naming directory first we must create the context object. So context is a um, interface so we write implementation of this context. So context context is the initial context is the implementation of the context. So I will write initial context. So context uh, initial context equal to new initial context and this initial context one function is there that is lookup function this lookup function will bind it the um, all the data source objects. So here you can see friends new initial context one second friends here new one function class is there that is initial context. So one second one initial context is there so in this initial context many functions is there so one of the initial context import this name one of the function is there lookup function so what this lookup function will do means it will one second friends it will bind this all the configuration to the context object so in lookup function first we write 
one global uh, variable name that is java colon comp slash environment env this global variable will collect the all the risk, all the configuration in the server so it will collect all the uh, configuration in this server uh, in ejb server or application server or any what server we want to what server we are using so that server we collect this all the configuration and kept in context object so on this context object only lookup function so uh, it will add ca casting the so add cache to context object so again environment context dot lookup so we will get this key value key value in the data source object reference this is jdbc slash so here you can you can see friends look up for um, data source object reference key name is what we write in context dot xml file so in context dot xml file we write here you can see friends context dot xml we write jdbc slash test db so that uh, key name we will write here lookup dot java dot jdbc test db it will give this data source object reference once data source object reference is come is there so easily we can get the connection so data source object add cache to data source object add cache to uh, data source object one second i will stop uh, okay data source object once the data source object reference is there data source dot get connection it will give the connection once the connection is uh, open and the task is completed once the connection dot uh, we can close the connection once again this connection will go back through the connection pooling so con connection dot uh, it will give the connection object so connection object so all this uh, so we didn't write driver manager dot get connection all this connection will take care by which server you are using so i am using uh, tomcat server so all this connection will take care by uh, tomcat server somebody uh, tomcat is uh, not supporting to connection pooling something somebody told him so uh, tomcat also using jn uh, context pool concept so once you can see friends i will write this uh, key name uh, that is JD, uh, data source uh, object reference key name we write jdbc test db and we will write lookup function first to create the context object and context object first we can uh, look up uh, java environment variables that is uh, global variables uh, variables name and then look up the data source object reference and then data source object reference we can get the connection i think uh, uh, clarity on this video you can clarity of this what is connection pooling and also next video i am explain how to use connection pooling in hibernate also once you can click clean the project and click the connection and you click the on the project and on server next and finish so you can click to get the connection details so it will give the all the variables and also uh, you will write context.xml uh, in server all this uh, resource tag you can see friends this resource tag you can write in uh, uh, tomcat uh, tomcat server and this uh, tomcat server and didn't we didn't write we didn't write context.xml so simply you can uh, uh, it simply we can uh, create the var file this project and deploy it in web server so in the deploy to web server we no need to write context.xml in this uh, meta enf no need to write so uh, create the var file this uh, uh, project and deploy into the server tomcat and the tomcat context.xml we write this resource values so if you have explained
till next video i have explained okay next video thank you